the whole goal of all of my platforms is to inspire and to show others that they can get out there and see nature and enjoy outdoors. Everyone's all locked up inside, and if you come outside, it's beautiful out here. My name is Emmanuel Williams, and I'm a fisherman, content creator, outdoorsman, and I'm Black and Unlimited. Yeah. I learned to fish when I was about seven years old, maybe even earlier than that. Any chance my dad had when I was younger, he'd take me down to Dania Pier. And even when my mom was pregnant, she said that the only thing that calmed her when she was feeling sick was going down to the water side and just hearing and seeing the water. So fishing has always been like deep rooted in my life. I really grew a passion for fishing. Most of the time I spent with my dad fishing bridges. We'd go out there catching little snappers and groupers and stuff like that. And I always just wanted to catch something bigger. And as soon as I graduated high school, I started looking at buying a personal watercraft. And it's just been a ride since. Before my day on the water even starts, usually the day before, I'll head over to Walmart if I need some new hooks, some new leader line, and then anywhere from 4.30 to 5.30, head down to the boat ramp, get out to the edge of the reef, and now we're fishing. Fishing on a personal watercraft is super challenging compared to fishing on a boat. You have the weather, you have the rough water, you're limited on space, you're limited on time. Like you can get hurt so easily just not paying attention, not taking the right safety precautions. So that is definitely always in the back of my head. It was just a lot of learning, a lot of research, a lot of time on the water, a lot of days catching no fish. But when you do catch that big fish, when you do have that great day, it feels so rewarding. My favorite fishing story was I'm fishing offshore and I hooked a big wahoo. We finally did it! We finally did it! We got the wahoo! Yeah! I'm on a thousand feet of water next to a million dollar boat and I'm on a personal watercraft catching the same fish they're catching, doing the same thing they're doing. I've had a YouTube channel since I was 12 years old. I just like to document my experience and people really react to the stuff I do out there. It's a great feeling seeing people in the comments letting me know that they're inspired by my content. I know that other people seeing me out there, people who look like me, gives them hope and inspiration to do the same exact thing. No matter where you come from, who you are, what you've done, where you were born, if you see me doing it, you can do it just the same. Fishing has taught me how to be more patient. I'm not looking to catch as many fish as possible. Most times, I just want to catch a couple fish that I can come home, clean it up, and share with my family. I've always liked cooking. Like when I was younger, I used to ask my dad to put me up on the counter just so I could make eggs and stuff. So I always liked cooking, especially when you catch it, you take it home, you clean it, you prepare it, and then you eat it. it just. It's completely different. My proudest accomplishment so far would be being able to do what I do full time. I fish, make videos, explore, have a great time for a living. So I just want to keep growing, keep working on new projects, take crazy trips, catch big fish, and hopefully one day in the future have a TV show where everyone can see it and gain inspiration from that. Yeah. Being black and unlimited means to me that there's no boundaries. Anything I set my mind to, I can go after and get it. The advice I'd give to the black community that wants to get out there and go fishing would be, don't worry about any of the stereotypes. If you love something, you truly love it, and you want to get after it, you can do it.